Hello there, fellow gamers. Are you ready for a brand new episode of Chocobo GP on the Foxbox? Well, here it is. Hi everyone, welcome to the stream. I hope you're all feeling good today. So yeah, I haven't played this for a while. I've been playing it a little bit on and off, but I haven't been streaming it, so we're going to do a stream of it tonight, and then we'll do some Mythical Ninja afterwards. Like, Mario Kart kind of distracted me for a while. I mean, I'm still, you know, really enjoying the new DLC, but I need, I need to give this game a little bit more time as well. Totally not trying to get um, Clouds, the, the golden cart for Cloud. Nope. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. I've still got, like, a few weeks before that goes away. Gotta love FOMO in video games. Anyways, we're going to start tonight by doing a bit of story mode, and then we'll play online. So... Oh yeah, the weekly login bonus. Oh, this sto this music again. So it's the wait a minute. Why why is it asking me if I want to do beginner or master? Oh, okay. So I'm just continuing from here. Alright, here we go. Time for the next episode of Chocobo GP on the Foxbox. Yes, I still have these. I mean, that's totally part of the screen. Chapter 5, Hapless Mage and Stubborn Knight. So this is Alexandria. Huh. It's so big. And incredibly busy. I've never been to such a large city before. I call it a nitpick, if you will, but I kind of wish this game had, like, an auto-dialogue thing. You know how, like, Dragon Quest, where it's, like, after it finishes, like, reading the dialogue for you, it just automatically, like, jumps to the next one? I mean, it's not a big deal. I can just press the A button whenever, but it would have been a nice feature. It looks like they're having a festival. Arrived and I already sense trouble. A fight's about to break out over there. Please, sir, that's not what happened. Was this meant to be Vivi? Like, I don't know anything about Final Fantasy IX, is it, that this one's from, but I know of the character. You've committed a crime. I think this guy's supposed to be from IX as well, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not the biggest, like, I'm, I, don't, I don't have the, the most knowledge about Final Fantasy, I just know some of the characters. I didn't forge it, I swear! I'm telling the truth! I was sold a fake ticket! Why does the voice sound like Phil or Lil from the Rugrats? Like, it kinda has that quality to it. Attempting to use counterfeit tickets is no less of an offense. You can make all the excuses you want. After I take you into custody. You were thinking the same thing? I, 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 I'm glad that I'm not the only person thinking that then. Oh no! That little boy is about to be taken away! No! Don't take him! We must save him! Why? It's better we don't get involved. Hold it right there! That boy is telling you you got the facts wrong. Exactly! How dare you tease a little boy like that? If anything happens to him, I'm not going to forgive you. Ladies, this is my job. I am not teasing anyone. He's but a little boy. I find it hard to believe he's caused any real trouble. The rules are the rules. Child or not, he has broken them. Well, that may be. This young boy is also a victim of the crimes you accuse him of. Let him go. Who do you think you are anyway? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? I apologize for the belated introduction. My name is Steiner. I command the Knights of Pluto of Alexandria. Returning to the point at hand, the law is the law, and violations are violations. Jeez Louise, what's with this stubborn old miser? I hope I don't ever end up like him. I completely forgot this guy tagged along with us, Ben. While certain regulations may have been violated, 
You're at the very least obligated to hear him out before taking him away. Ah, it's clear as day now. You are this young man's accomplices! Not me, I'm innocent! Something smells indeed. Only upon proving your innocence will I allow you to leave. What do you want us to do? Let's have a race! There is, of course, but one way to settle this. You are to race me! Th this is quite literally just Yu-Gi-Oh now. It's like, there's only one way to settle this. Let's have a duel, Yu-Gi! Huh? Certainly. And if we win, you are to release the boy. <laughs> like, this is the only way people can settle their arguments in this world. Let's have a cart race. Yeah, that, that solves all our problems. Difficulty keeping up. Adults live in a different world, I guess. It is time to race. It's time to do. Sorry, that <laughs> I couldn't help myself. It's time to do. Right, okay then. Uh, just gonna stick with Chocobo because you know I've kind of main Chocobo at this point. So, what's my goal? Is it just to beat Steiner? To beat Steiner. I haven't even done the series races yet, which is kind of like uh, the Grand Prix mode in Mario Kart. Yeah, must place before Steiner. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard. Oh yeah, you have to do it on the number two, not slightly afterward. Oh jeez. Oh fuck, buttons are not correctly binded, so I'm gonna have to do that in a minute. Oh fuck. Off to a great start. Oh fuck, what was the button again? That one? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to rebind my buttons because the buttons are all wrong compared to how I usually like to play it. Terra, please. I don't know what level I am on the battle pass. I think I'm like a level... Somewhere between 80 and 90. I don't know if I'm going to get to 200s. Because, yeah, you have to get to 200 if you want to get, like, the, the best thing in the game, which I think is... Well, not the best thing, but just, like, the best cosmetic for the character that you unlocked at level 60. Which is a golden cart for clouds, or a golden bike. Oh, I, I hate, I hate the, the buttons not being bound correctly. I'll do that after this race is over. <laughs> okay, I think I should be fine. Steiner's a few positions behind me. Sorry, Vivi, I'm taking first. Let me quickly change the controls now, if you don't mind. Load preset, talkable GP. Like, I much prefer to use the ZL and ZR buttons, plus my ability to be bound to the left stick, so I can just click it at a moment's notice. Like, the controls feel very foreign otherwise if I don't have it set like that, so, yeah. Right now for the next part of this episode. Thank you, everyone. You saved me. 
It really does sound like Phil from Rugrats, holy shit. Good for you. What's your name? It's got a weird baby-ish quality to it, I can't quite explain it, but it sounds very similar. I'm Vivi. I came here hoping to watch the festival play, only to, well... Not again! Oh, Beatrix and the others are no doubt laughing at my expense! What are you grumbling about, Rusty? Let the boy go, just as you promised! I will acquit you for now. Keep in mind, however, I will not be turning a blind eye to your crimes the next time. Huh? Steiner. This cannot be good. Queen Brane was audience to your performance. She has summoned for you. Is this the what? Is this the water elemental from Paper Mario the Origami King? Uh, yes, Bahamut. Oh, it's Bahamut. Okay. Queen Brane is surely displeased. I must make haste. I never thought I'd live to see the day we meet you. To think one of the strongest summons in existence stands before us. Technically, he's not standing before you, he's kind of floating off the ground a little bit. I am Bahamut, Keeper of... Ah, oh, my mistake. That is not my current title. I feel like I've seen you before. I too recognize you. Is that right? Now, you must be confusing me with uh, another. As if there's any mistaking you for someone else. He's not nearly so intimidating as he looks. I like how, like, even someone that's supposed to be, like, this big, like, grandiose character is just, like, reduced to a goofy, like, foil in, in this thing. It, it really is like a four kids show. He sounds like a nice guy. Ahem. I am Bahamut. I have come here on Queen Brane's orders. I cannot allow you to proceed any further. It's like he's no longer the same person! <laughs> like you can talk. I've been thinking about it. Couldn't Irma easily resolve her problem by giving up driving? Why won't you let us through? Please state your reasons. These are my orders. We are not able to oppose the wishes of our summoners. Summons sure have it tough. Yes, and Queen Brane is... Uh, Rather demanding. Yeah, just pointing out its own plot holes. Again, it's just like a cartoon. What makes just a very self-aware cartoon. As I am not even one of hers to begin with. What then? Are we not allowed to pass under any circumstances? Well, there is one way I can let you through. Oh jeez, I wonder what that could be. I wonder... What t please tell me, Bahamut. What do I have to do to go through? We have to win a race against you. See, even, like, Ben knows what's up. He's the fucking smartest one among them. Yes, cross the finish line before me, and you are free to go. <laughs> you don't even have a ride! That is true. That sound. When you need him, he's there. Whistling the tune, he's there. With eyes gently sparkling. Behind his dashing goggles. Nobody knows who he is. But everybody knows his name. Oh, hey. It's Racing Hero X. Ah, you interrupted me at the most important part, Kabop! A moment. I have to gather myself. <laughs> Racing Hero X is here, Kabop! I see you gained a lot of new friends! How wonderful, Kupo! Am I correct in assuming you made it all this way without too many problems? Well, I suppose you could say that. Oh well, yes, aside from the strange individual that keeps attempting to thwart our progress. <laughs> strange individual? Now who might that be, Kupo? Uh, he's rather large in build. I think he has a green ride. And is also fairly loud. Hmm. I believe he wears a red... Uh, on 
it. Uh, I can't remember a thing. There's no mistaking it. They must be referring to him. I'm having trouble recalling his name, Kukwo. Do you know him? Racing Hero X? Well, what would make you think that? Now, on to more important things. As much as I wish I could, I cannot ready a ride large enough for Bahamut. Stop dabbing. I shall race you in his place, Kukwo! Therefore, to proceed, you must win against me. I said stop dubbing! Who's making these rules? Not to worry, Koopa. Even if you lose, it won't be game over. After all, in this day and age, those sorts of games receive a great deal of flack. What exactly is he talking about? Hindu, is he addressing? Oh, I wish I was the one racing you. As I am now a spectator, I can give you a few pointers. Permit me to tell you more. Bahamut, Magisite with the power to call forth the strongest summon Bahamut. The invincible Bahamut boosts through the player's boosts through the player's speeds and moves them automatically along the course for a set amount of time. You can move with the L stick, summoning Bahamut to change direction slightly. Yeah, so it's basically a bullet bill. We've seen this a few times in online. Yes, let me tell you about Doom. Doom is a video game that came out in the early 90s for the PC. This Magisite sends a Reaper out to the characters one rank ahead of you. If you are ranked first, the Reaper will go to the character in second place. The Reaper can be repelled by hitting action slash drift a number of times. Yeah, see at first I thought it was just like how many jumps you do, but it's not really the amount of jumps you do, it's how many times you press the button. Even if you're in midair. Alright, now for the race. Right, so I guess I've got to be a uh, racing hero X. I wonder, like, it's been a little while since I played this game last. I, I wonder how many people are playing online right now, because I feel like Mario Kart 8's first wave of DLC may have made this game's player base drop a bit. I don't know. So, I think I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. I feel like this game's, like, live service thing is going to live and die by what they're going to be doing for Season 2. Specifically, if they don't add any new courses or tracks, or, like, a lot of quality of life improvements, I feel like this game's online is going to die very quickly. Because I, re I really don't think this game needs to be a live service, but Square Enix wants to make it that way for, you know, the monies. Which, yeah, kind of sucks considering I've already bought the full game. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, jeez. You fuck. I mean, as long as Racing Hero X is behind me, it doesn't matter too much. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Okay, Racing Hero, you're getting that. Nope. Didn't want to activate that that soon, but I had no choice.
Oh wow, he fell way below after that. Like, he was in third or second, but after I hit him with that, um, like, Doom, I think it's called, the Reaper, he dropped way down to seventh place. Uh, give me one second real quick. Alright, sorry about that. Chapter 6 added. Unlocked Alexandria to play in single player. Okay. Every one of you has grown so much! You didn't even know how good we were to begin with. As promised, I will let you all go, Kupo. Yes, you may pass. Queen Brane thoroughly enjoyed the show. Will everyone present be entering the big race? What race are you talking about? He means, and there you have it. Any wish will be granted to the winner? <gasps> I want to enter. So what would your wish be for, Vivi? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something, hang on. Yeah, the, the wording there, he means it now, you have it. Like, I, I know it was supposed to be, oh, they're just going to fill him in quickly and not, like, you know, waste dialogue time, but... God, I'm trying to find an image and I'm not finding it quick enough, and... One sec. Right, I think I found one I can work with. Okay, I guess his head got decapitated. Fealty. Must I spend my life in servitude? Ugh. Perhaps the only way to learn the answers to the questions in my heart is to join the race. Again, that's the, that's how everybody solves their problems in this world. Alright, next episode. Oh, I like this track. Chapter 6, Match on the Big Bridge. How many chapters does this game have again? Like, nine? We're nearly there. The racetrack is on the other side of the bridge. That's one big bridge. I would say, like, Battle Over the Big Bridge or whatever it's called. Like, just Big Bridge. Like, this is one of my favourite tracks in the game. As long as it's not the hyperspeed variant, that one sucks. This place... Claire? Have you come here before? Oh, it's nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all! Wait! Huh? That voice. Oh, oh, I've managed to catch up with you at last. Steiner! I didn't do anything, I swear! Vivi? I apologize for putting you in a difficult position earlier. Rest assured, I will not be arresting you or any of your friends today. Steiner, 
What brings you here? I've had enough of being ordered about and mocked by Beatrix and the others. I must gain a deeper understanding of who I am. And I have decided to join the race and find the answers to these very questions that weigh heavily on my mind. Only then will I become a knight truly worthy of serving my country. Hang on a second, I'm gonna gonna make this an even funnier joke. Which is to say, not make it a funny joke at all, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Let's try this. Time for oh god, time for a Joel joke made by Mel. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. One filters. Uh, custom color. <laughs> Hang on, I'm not done yet. Uh, transform. Edit transformation. Oh, minus 30. No, minus 20. There we go. Perfect. Alright, we're good to go. Embarking on a journey of self-discovery. Aren't you too old for that? As much as I hate to admit it, you are not wrong. Well, I'm not in much of a position to criticize. Who's going to oversee the security of the castle while you're away? Surely the Knights of Pluto will rise to the occasion. <laughs> and if not, <laughs> there's always Beatrix, I suppose. In other words, you were superfluous to begin with. While there is a lot I fail to understand of your problems, you don't have to struggle alone. <gasps> hey, you should come with us! <gasps> Thank you, Master Vivi. <gasps> Words are not enough to express my gratitude. Oh great, just what we need, more problems. It wouldn't hurt to bring him oh. along, would it? <laughs> so, how exactly are we supposed to cross this bridge? The gate is locked. Maybe we can enter from over there? No harm in trying. Welcome! Uh oh. To cross, one must first pay the toll. This team rocket, I, I mean. Huh? Who, who are you? Stand back! This man is extremely suspicious. And yeah, we're still doing that running gag, I guess, with the who are you thing. Guess who's been waiting behind this gate the whole time? Yes, it's me. Took you long enough, too. I was just getting worried you might have gotten lost. Who are you? <laughs> who are you? 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 Impossible. Don't tell me you've already forgotten. We fought mano a mano, but just the other day. You there, you do chocobos, remember, don't you? Who are you? I guess that translates to who are you. No! Something is not right. You must be plotting against me. There are many better ways to waste your time. Perhaps you could find a hobby? Nobody likes a guy who doesn't know when to quit. Is he... a bad person? I'm... I'm scared. You don't have many friends, do you? Come on, you guys! It's inconsiderate to be so frankly honest to his face! You, you people are twisted. If I wasn't angry before, I sure am now! It's go time! Saw that one coming. Alright, time to race this motherfucker again. Oh yeah, I think the um, House of the Dead remake came out recently. I haven't heard if it's good or not. I'm going to hold off on picking it up though because I'm going to be getting the physical edition which doesn't come out until the end of May. So that'll be a little while yet. Yeah, that's like a, a month, almost two months away. So
I'm looking forward to when they remake House of the Dead 2 because that was the one I grew up with. I've never played the first House of the Dead before, so... Anyway, this is my favourite track in the game, like I said. Oh, getting that already? Okay then. Not only is it like my favourite design track, but it's also got one of the best songs as well. Oh. I think the song is called Battle Over the Big Bridge. I'm not sure which Final Fantasy it comes from. It's like five or six, I think. One of the SNES games. Ah! Oh, I was just about to activate my ability there to dodge. Oh fuck. Oh my god, I'm, try I'm trying to beat Gilgamesh and everyone else is knocking me down. I'm hoping Gilgamesh is in seconds. Oh no, he's way down, he's like, sixth I think? Oh! I could have activated that. Uh, we're fine. We won't come first, but we'll have beaten Gilgamesh, so we're okay. Unlock Steiner. Okay. New character. I will give them a try in a little bit. <laughs> Seems you're all bark and no bite. Irma is so cool. Since he lost to us, he'll be waving our toll, won't you? You leave me with no choice. Now, to show you my true strength! Hey! Don't act like you didn't hear me! Uh, what true strength? I'm quite sure we've seen the extent of your abilities in our last race. He seems quite desperate. How frightening! I must say, I quite enjoy these tussles. I feel we've gained an understanding. Then I will pound you, silly! Feeling sentimental, aren't we? You're a real troublesome fellow, aren't you? And a loser to boot. Quiet! Gilgamesh, would I be able to ask you something? Why do you always attempt to get in our way? I think we'd all like to know the answer to that. Excellent question. I suppose I could tell you. It would, after all, be a fitting last request. First, he threatened to steal our wheels. Now, he's planning to take our lives? No one should ever be stealing anyone else's wheels, dead or alive. Edgar told me about you. Is it true? You're a thief? Who in the world is Edgar? Well then, I guess if we win, We'll be sending you on a one-way trip to... Uh, uh, about that. Are you not familiar with the concept of trash talk? You shouldn't take what I have to say so seriously. Enough! It's time you put your money where your mouth is. Huh? Right, let's do this! I cannot reveal any names, but I was ordered to prevent you from attending the race at all costs. Sounds fishy to me. Who gave you those orders? I told you I can't say. Don't tell me you just made that up. Enough with that shit chat. For Gilgamesh, it is morphing time! Okay, so we're going from a four kids show to Power Rangers now. What in the world? He grew four arms! Let's see how 
good six times the manpower really is. Okay. So I just have to race them again then? Yeah, gonna have to race Gilgamesh again for the second time. Alright, let's get this over with. Oh, I picked the right time to do that. Wow, Gil Gilgamesh sucks. Like, he's in fucking sixth place right now. Fuck off, Steiner. Easy win. Oh wow. That's a lot of missions. Golden saucer unlocked. Also got big bridge. Strength of six men. I could have told you that. Gilgamesh? Huh? What this fall has to be bundled my bash for the soundtrack. What? No! Anything but that! I'm going to send you to the Shadow Realm! Silence, Koopa! Oh. Koopa? Did you hear Koopa? Oh my god, he really fucking is going to the Shadow Realm! Okay, bye Gilgamesh! What is that gif? What are you talking about? It's just a normal piece of official artwork of Elphalyn from Kirby. He's disappeared. You think he might be dead? <laughs> I like how he's just so fucking, like, nonchalant about it as well. He might still be alive. How do you prove that you exist? Maybe we don't exist. This is where you're gonna pull out that line! Damn it. <laughs> I wanted that on screen for a few more moments. Oh, that's fine, Pixel. Uh, thanks for dropping by. I'll see you later. Right, Golden Saucer. Apparently this is a Final Fantasy VII location. Why is Vivi a Rugrat? Because they sound like Phil. Like, you know, Phil from the Rugrats. <laughs> like, the voice almost sounds the same, so I kind of made it a bit of a joke. Like, next time you speak, listen to it. Like, it really does sound like them. So this is where the big event is to be held. 
Oh, we made it. While I've heard about this place, it's even more incredible in person. I can't wait to get on that racetrack. Getting here wasn't easy, but it was worth it. We made so many new friends along the way. You're finally here. What took you so long? Your group has certainly grown since the last time we saw each other. I was worried you wouldn't make it. You arrived with little time to spare. <laughs> Sorry about that. We got sidetracked. You did well to make it this far. No greetings from me. Oh yeah, I forgot Leviathan turned himself into a cart. I didn't know you espers were... Terra, how you been? Father? Who, me? You stick out like a sore thumb. Did you truly think no one would notice you? Well, father? I thought... You were another bear. You thought I was a bear? Really? You're gonna use that twice? This really does feel like four kids dialogue. Well, uh, I was just so concerned about Terra. Father. Alive. Come on! Now you're grasping at straws. Let's stick to your own quotes before you land us in hot water with the wrong people! Aren't the preliminaries starting soon? Like, how are we supposed to know what's going on without an explanation? Oh, here we go again. When you need him, he's there. Whistling a tune, he's there. With eyes gently. Look, Zero X, I didn't think we'd be seeing you again. Ah, uh, must you always cramp my style? Let a fellow finish his line for once, Koopa! Picking up where I left off. Do <laughs> you remember the early episodes of the Pokemon anime where Ash would keep interrupting like the Team Rocket motto? Because it was like, no, not this again. Go, fuck off. We, we don't, we don't want to hear it. It's kind of like that. Of course, they don't interrupt them anymore, but in the early episodes, they would do that sometimes because it's like, wow, these guys again. Only those who pass will be eligible to participate in the Grand Prix to follow. Who exactly they will be shall be determined by the preliminary. Dabbing Hero X. Your overall time must place in the top to join the action in the final race. It's finally time! I'm going to win the race. Where's Phil? I want to fucking put, you know, I want to, I want to do dumb I things. I cannot lose. Not after coming so far. Preliminaries are a waste of time. Let's skip to the Grand Prix already so I can take that trophy home. Let's skip to the Grand Pricks. I must leave. Please, understand. Please understand. I'm really not a fan of heights. On my honor as a knight, I shall lay claim to victory. Time to turn up the heat. Aren't you hot enough already? That said, it's time I got serious too. With my many heads and arms, I am certain to win this race. Please, do not forget that I am also present. I'm going to be taking out a lot of trash today. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm not trash! Ah, no way I'm losing to this twerp! Ben is really fired up! I need to make sure I don't fall behind! I trust you are ready, Shiva? I was born ready, Gramps. I'll see you- Even if I don't make it, I hope Terra does. I didn't mean to- <laughs> I didn't mean to cut their line there, whoops. People only seem to want power, don't they? Do they really want to be like me? Everyone has high hopes for themselves, but we're going to be the ones taking the prize. All right, race time.
Right, so I'm guessing, I don't know what the condition is, come first, maybe? Or just beat a certain character? I really don't know. I mean, if it's Racing Hero X's race, then I'm guessing I'm supposed to just beat him. Must be placed in the top four, right? That's easy. Oh, it's a bad place to be doing that. Shit! Oh! That should be fine. There we go. Easy. You want to buy this game, but you've only heard negative things about it. Um, well, it's not as good as Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but it's decent. Like, I would recommend you just download the free version and just play that instead. Like, I bought the full version just so I could stream the story modes and, you know, get a couple of extra things like the Battle Pass. You don't really need any of that stuff, on, in all honesty. But yeah, just download the free version and play that, because that will give you the online modes. Which is where you'll get most of your playtime from it anyway. Wow, that was a shortcut. That that that's the world record for the shortest cutscene ever in this game. Hi there, even. You came to watch GP while also doing some GPs. After I've done a bit of the story, I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do some online GP. I don't know how much of the story I've got left. I think I've got nine. I think there's nine chapters in in this. I could be wrong. I think someone told me it was nine, and we're on chapter eight. I think. So wait, what's the condition? Top four again. <laughs> Just hear that guy speaking as he's as he like drives by me. Oh no! I'm not taking any chances there. Ooh, nice. Oh. That can be a bit risky using that. Fucker. Oh my god, Bahamut, would you please? First bitches! There we go. It 
it does have mobile um, elements to it, sadly, which is a bit annoying. But I would say, like, it's still a console game. Like, you, you can't find this on Android or iOS, as far as I'm aware. It's just that they put, like, a bunch of mobile stuff around it, and I'm not a fan of that. Okay, the next one's Chapter 8, sorry. Unlocked Molden, okay. I think that's how you pronounce that name. Molden. Molden. I will now announce those who will be moving on to the final race. Not Gubal! What? It's all about the anticipation, Gubal. I hope you all look forward to learning who shall be participating in the Grand Prix on the day of. It will be held here at this course tomorrow, Koopa! Goodbye for now! Right, Chapter 8. Nay, splendid day today is. Thank you. I thank each and every one of you for taking the time to come here. Your. Come on, give a decent speech. Quiet down over there! Koopa! <laughs> Seeing as some of you are quite impatient, let us skip the formalities. This ends the opening ceremony, Koopa! Let the final race begin! That's it? Now to announce the Grand Prix participants, Koopa! Wait a minute, huh? Yes! We have two additional new members, Koopa! You can come out! Oh, hello. Mecha Chocobo? What's this? Your final battle needs a robo version of the protagonist, wouldn't you agree? This is sure to liven things up, Koopa! Marketing is behind this, isn't it? <coughs> That's one. Who's the other? When you need him, he's there. Whistling a tune, he's there. Oh, it's you. Great. Clearly you know nothing of style or elegance! Learn to let people finish their lines, Koopa! Amateurs really are more trouble than they're worth. The final participant is Racing Hero X Koopa! Now, let us get down to business! All Magicite will be allowed in the final race. Don't hold anything back, Koopa! Are you ready on your marks? All right. So I guess I need to be uh, both Racing Hero X and Robot Chocobo. Or Mecha Chocobo, whatever that thing is called. So we're almost done with this story. First place first. I like this variant of the track. It's got a couple of good shortcuts in it that are fun to use. And here's the other one. Yeah, I got a good lead. Oh, fuck. 
and take that shortcut because of this. Yeah, I got healthy lead. That should be okay. the gap between me and everyone else. That's a lot of tickets. Nice. Wait, add it to the shop? So you have to buy it still? So I'm guessing I have to use my coins. Hopefully it's not the, the mithril you need to use to buy that. I will not accept this! I will not accept these results! Wow! You're a sore loser, aren't you? I was supposed to win and trap you all! Instead, it seems I will have to capture you by force, Koopa! That's... Ah! Ah! Quality voice acting. Right here on the Fox Box. <laughs> I banish you from this realm, Koopa! I shall send you to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> it really is Yu-Gi-Oh now at this point. Oh, goodbye, Phil. Let you get away with this. This this game has the this game's story has a lot in common with like four kids Yu-Gi-Oh. It's like two basic rules of the world. One, we solve all problems by racing, which is like, you know, solve all problems by dueling. And two, if things don't go the villain's way, they'll send you to the Shadow Realm. Right, okay, so final episode I think. So this one has two races. After this, we'll hop online and do some online races. Chapter 9, Last Stand. Someone really did a number on me. What about the cup races? We could do them another time. I would like to hop online shortly. Where are we? This is the interdimensional rift. We're in another world. You seem to know a bit too much. Who exactly are you? I suppose it is time to tell you. I am an amethyst hunter. I've been attempting to track them down. Amethyst hunter? What is that? Did you notice the color of Racing Hero X's palm? How it emits a purple glow. That is the color of an amethyst. There's something of a nuisance. They absorb people's desires, which they then, in turn, used to grow and divide. Unfortunately, Racing Hero X has been consumed by one. Uh, oh dear. Amethysts will go to great lengths to find and devour mortal desire. 
Often, they will even use their host as a means to this end. The whole purpose of this race, in fact, was to do just that. They gather people together in large groups, lure them in, then absorb their energy to fuel their growth and divide. I've given up on trying to understand and I'm just going along for the ride. Yeah, that's, that's a 4Kids TV show for you. Once the Amethysts are divided, they will each then continue on the cycle, again and again, resulting in an increase to their numbers. So, what happens if we get absorbed? We would no longer exist in the world we come from. Whether that can be classified as death or not, I cannot say. Again, Shadow Realm. While I've collected a large number of amethysts, I was never able to learn what became of the individuals consumed by them. This is the last one left. If only, I had not lost sight of it. Perhaps this whole ordeal could have been avoided. Oh, not again. <laughs> really? Come at me, vile beast! Wait a minute, Chocobo! Zounds! Tis no beast, just Chocobo! You should have just said so from the start. Ooh, I don't like it here. Creepy monsters lurk around every corner and I can't find the way out. Right. I'm gonna break down. Who are you? Who are you? Who's that? Who is 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 that? Oh god damn it. I was I was trying to reach for something there and I accidentally hit the microphone. Right, there we go. Who's Hello, that? goodbye. Who is that? 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 Ah, are we continuing this charade? Ch Chocobo, you have not forgotten me, have you? Translation, who is that? Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. We've reached the climax, and yet you persist with this nonsense? At least answer me this. How did you get here? Or rather, how does one exit? Oh, just go that way, then. I see. Let us egress post haste. Okay, then. Oh, yes. That whole saving the world thing, phooey. If you make it out safely. Bah! No ifs about it. I'm certain we'll meet again. At that time, I hope you'll consider me a... Uh, uh, never mind. <laughs> Until a bye-bye. Hasta la bye-bye. You're going. There you are. Why a little pipsqueak? Yeah, Ben, ben is a fun character. I shall have you pay for your crimes against me. No one exploits Gilgamesh and lives to tell the tale. I found you suspicious from the very beginning. I should have known. This ends here. I'm afraid that won't be happening, Koopa. Just take a look at all the greed that resides in your heart. I followed your orders and impeded everyone's progress. Why did you bring me here? What trivial is this, Koopa? I told you to gather those with greed in their hearts and bring them to the final race, Koopa! Lies! Not only did you ignore my commands, you actively prevented me from acquiring the most delectable specimen of all, Atma, scum consumed with selfish desire. Jeez, talk about rude. I am here, you know. I thought you wanted me to keep the greedy away. <gasps> Is there a brain between your ears, Koopa? I wanted to fight you one more time, mano a mano. You're not helping your case. Ah, if I just left you in the lurch, I'd look like a jerk for all of history. Thought I'd let that happen? As if. I love the look on Chocobo's face right now, like he just doesn't want to deal with any of this shit right now. There really is no helping you. <laughs> Morons! Resist all you want. There is no escape, Koopo! Koopo! It's time to put an end to this. Let's race! Let's do! <laughs> Sounds to me we're nearly at the end. I couldn't have said it better myself, for this is where your stories come to a finish, Koopa! 
a right time to race on this track. What was it called? Interdimensional Drift or something? I forgot. Rift? Not Drift. In Hyper Interdimensional Rift? I, I, I keep forgetting the name of this one, but yeah. This seems to be the final track of the story modes. Yeah, that was also another joke I was doing. Like every time the cutscenes would play, I would put like the four kids logo in the corner because it really does feel like a four kids dubbed cartoon. Just like listening to the dialogue. Interdimensional Rift Alpha. That's what it's called. Got a place first again. Did I ever talk about the time I played this, like, off the stream and had to do this track, like, I think five or six times in a row, online? Because that did happen at some point. I suppose that's what happens when you have a very... Very low variety of like different tracks to pick from. Ah, fuck. We're almost done here. Oh, this is good. There we go, maximum boosts. Let's go! Look at that big gap between me and everyone else. Hope the next DLC pack comes out soon. I would imagine we'd see the next DLC pack around June. Like, because I think they're going to release each new wave every three to four months. And usually Nintendo has a Nintendo Direct around June, so... I feel like those two things will line up perfectly with each other. Where it's just like, yeah, we're going to have a Direct in June, even though E3 doesn't exist anymore. Because we want to announce all the games coming out for the rest of the year. And also, here's more Mario Kart 8 tracks. Unlocked Racing Hero X, and unlock this. Okay. I think I have one more race to do, so one more cutscene, and then one more race, and then the ending. I, Racing Hero X, lost? If I can't win, then no one can! I'm taking every last one of you down with me, Goomba! You stole the words right out of my mouth. Boom. Oh. No! I will not die! You got the wrong boss. Ah, oh, my apologies, Kubo. I mean... Wait, was that referencing a Final Fantasy game or something? I, I didn't get that joke. Nay, I am Necroshell. All memories, dimensions, existence, all that is shall be returned to nothing. Then I too can disappear forever. The hidden final boss has finally revealed himself! Both wall break. I was waiting for you to arrive. Well, I like your lines. Don't you realize following through with them means there won't be any greedy people like me left to devour? 
That wasn't even an original line. Do you think your words have sway over me? I suppose, however your demise must wait, there are more pressing matters at hand. I... I see racing hero X is back to normal. Look at the little palm on his heads. You finally returned to your senses, have you? <sighs> it's a long story. Never mind, then, Koopa. You could fill me in later. Who's going to have the pleasure of doing that, I wonder? Good grief. Do you not have any better reaction to Gilgamesh, a trusted friend and ally, self destructing? Who is that? Oh my god. <laughs> wow, no one gives a shit about Gilgamesh. Who's that? <sighs> the frigidity in your hearts could freeze the most torrid of deserts thrice over. Now more than ever, I must follow through on my word. I must avenge Gilgamesh! Mercy, they flipped the script on us. Wait, does that mean we're the villains now? Nani? That can't be right! Moguls are always on the side of justice, Koopa! The only hero this story needs is me! Hero? What hero? In case you've forgotten, you're the reason why we're in this whole mess. I don't remember any of that, Koopa! More importantly, how dare you take advantage of my magnificent Moogle bod, Koopa! I shall have my revenge on you at our next race! Magnificent Moogle bod? There's something to be said for phrasing. Magnificent Moogle Bod. Alright, I'm guessing I've just got to come in first again. What was this guy called again? I forgot his name already. Like, this, this final boss. Necro shell. This is it, Luigi. Oh, <laughs> I saw him get cock blocked by that crystal. Brain faltered there for a moment. Ah, shit. Okay, I, I thought I was gonna get hit by something, but I'm good. Yeah, the final lap! Let's hope it doesn't go to shit. Like so many online races. The upgrades. No, I'm, I'm, I'm way ahead. I, th I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. That wasn't too bad. Story added epilogue, unlocked necro shell, and unlocked interdimensional rift omega.
The people and the friends we have lost. All the dreams that have faded. Never forget them. For a moment there, I thought he was going to say the people and the friends we made along the way. What did you just say? He sure knows a thing or two about style, Kupo. We're getting pulled in. Spin! The laws of the universe mean nothing. Wait, what, what? There was no voice acting for that line for some reason. Changed my life, but things are no different to when we first started. Take it as a learning lesson. If you're pinning all your hopes on a shooting star, you'll find yourself waiting a long, long time. <sighs> I guess I'll be here for a while then. A shooting star is my only hope of returning home. I'm right there with you. We must look to the future. After all, there's nothing more attractive than a woman with a dream. I don't think that's what Sherma means. Yeah, Ben is a gamer. Certified gamer. Even so, the village has changed a lot since the race began. It's gotten so big. Indeed it has. Look at all the fields we have now. It's wonderful seeing our village prosper. I completely forgot about this character, Camilla's Pa. That's his name, apparently. Like, he doesn't have an actual name, it's just Camilla's Pa. Dreams are too precious to be left to others. You must make a decision, then pursue it by any means necessary. You said it, Pa! What a wonderful father! Just remember, circumstance will not change on its own. Only you have the power to do that. Never allow the fear of failure to hold you back. <sighs> you have a point. Perhaps it's not that there's nothing I want, but... Rather, I've been too afraid to go after it. Speaking of change, isn't it about time you did something about your name? I take great pride in my name. It is one my parents took great care in choosing for me. And I shall be forever thankful for it. So wait, when you were born, they, they called you Camilla's Pa? I'm quite sure that's not the name your parents intended. Besides, if I were to change it now, who is going to recognize me when I become the protagonist? You have a lot of confidence, I'll give you that. I wouldn't worry too much about that if I were you. What was that? Titan's not supposed to be around today! <gasps> How frightening! Over there! What's that light? Yeah, Ben is like the best character in this story, easily. Also, that was a cool bit of, like, freeze frame action there. What happened to Phil? I'm so happy to see you've returned in one piece! Da, 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 da. There's nothing to fear! Racing Hero X is here! Kapo! What happened to. I'm no longer the final boss, Kupo. 
Huh? What? Thanks to me, peace has been restored to the land, Kabal! Where would the world be without us heroes, eh? Uh, what's he on about? Uh, down here? Anyone? Oh, uh, I didn't see you there. That hurt worse than the fall. <laughs> that reminds me. Hero X! This is all your fault. How dare you put us through such an ordeal! Uh, I'm as much of a victim as you, Kabal! It's not as if I even remember any of it! Oh? Huh? I thought we filled you in on the details. There is no time for that, Kubo. In fact, I recall specifically being told, Now's not the time for that! Well, certain people are a bit touchy under pressure. Hmm, I wonder who you might be talking about. Well, I'm glad we managed to somehow make it back. And it's safe to say that all the amethysts are now sealed away. Where did you put them? That's a secret. Everyone's safe and the amethysts are gone. As they say, all's well that ends well. Final boss for Chocobo GP2 confirmed. You've got to be kidding me, right? After all that, not only did we not get our wish, but we didn't even receive rewards! As a treasure hunter, I absolutely refuse to accept such an ending! It was a fun adventure, and so long as we continue having such adventures, there's no problem? Uh, you're too soft for your own good. Chocobo's right. So long as you're alive and well, you can continue your search for treasure. Isn't that enough? Exactly. One might even say treasure hunters who have to rely on wishes are no treasure hunters at all. Um, uh, I suppose... I mean, just take a look at this village. Why, with just a little bit of time and effort, do you see what I have managed to achieve in the end? I became a treasure hunter specifically to avoid that type of boring work. Well, at least my goal can be not to end up like him. Did you say something? Got a problem? Uh, never mind. Oh, hi, Gilgamesh. Wait, I thought he huh? blew up. What was that? Ouch! Made it! Surprised to see me? If I just left you in the lurch and they started rolling credits, I'd look like a jerk for all of history. Thought I'd let that happen? As if. We know you're a jerk, Koopa. Who are you? 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 I rise from the dead, and this is the welcome I receive? You two chocobos remember me, don't you? Who are you? Wow. Maybe we really are the villains. You can't be serious. What about you, little white mage? Who are you? Who are you, Kupo? The little twerps in on it, too? Unbelievable. This is a transgression I simply cannot forgive. In fact, this calls for a... Freeze! This story is a complete work of fiction. Any persons, groups, names, etc. that are, seem familiar are entirely coincidental. Thank you, Square Enix, for letting me know about that. For a moment there, I thought you were actually trying to base this on a real story. Okay. Well, there you go. That was, um... That was... That was quite something. That was Chocobo GP story modes. Definitely, definitely an experience. Oh, I see we get some... Oh, I didn't get a chance to read that. So so you get, like, some character, like, information. I, I'm not going to be able to physically read that out loud quick enough, so you're just going to have to read that yourself. I 
again, this is a weird game. Like, the story mode is very bizarre, but I, I kind of enjoyed it. It was a fun little experience to stream. But yeah, we're going to do some online after the credits are done. Right, well, there, there's Phil. I didn't have the, the image ready for it, but yeah. Right, so yeah, I, I guess the credits aren't super long, and then we can we can hop in to online races for a little bit. Because I do want to see if I can get some wins tonight. I don't like Camilla's Paz bedroom eyes. Wait, did they say something about her being a streamer or did I misread that? Who is this guy again? Racing Hero X. Again, I wish they would kind of slow that text down just a little bit, just so I can like, actually read everything properly. But, okay. <laughs> that, that face. Like, just his mouth in particular looked weird there. I'm surprised we even have a, a director behind this game. A director behind the story modes. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. Right, so after the credits are over, we will do some online. I feel like I didn't get a lot of mileage out of that full picture. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? And there we go, we can, we can just leave that there. Quality jokes. I don't know how long these credits are. Hopefully it's not too long. Uh, I'm just going to quickly check something. Oh. Don't mind me just drop something there like a professional streamer. One sec. Alright, we're good. 
So yeah, again, the, the online, the, 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 I mean, sorry, the, the story mode is a definitely a bit of an experience, I'll just say that. Very bizarre story modes. I mean, it was fun to stream, but yeah, um, <laughs> I don't know what to say about it in all honesty after having played through the entire thing. I've run out of things to say. I'm just waiting for the credits to finish so that we can move on. Has anything been happening in the world of video games, I wonder? Let me check. Just so I've got stuff to talk about, because I can't really think of anything to talk about at this moment in time, so... I'm just going to look stuff up. Oh yeah, Nintendo uploaded a, a video the other day about, like, it's like a Kirby storybook thing. I don't know if anyone saw that. It's called Kirby's Tiny Worlds. I saw it. It was, it's weird to see that on, like, Nintendo's main YouTube channel and not, like, you know, a side channel. Because it kind of feels like something for, like, very, very young kids. It should, like, I feel like it should be in its own, like... You know how, like, the Pokemon company have, like, a Pokemon channel on YouTube for, like, very young audiences? Like, Pokemon TV or whatever you call it. I forgot what they called it, but... It's weird that Nintendo doesn't have an equivalent to that to post, like, the Kirby thing to, but I guess it's cool. Or whatever. I don't know, it was weird just seeing that there. But yeah, that, that was something that happened recently. Again, look it up, it's on Nintendo's main YouTube channel. Oh, got an extra difficulty. Story access granted character? What, what, is it, what does this mean? Oh, we can play meta mode now. And I've got Gilgamesh and Camilla's Pa. Grip model. Okay. Well, I unlocked a whole bunch of stuff there. Right, maybe we'll do extra mode another time then, so... Returning to title screen? Wait, what? Game's updating? Oh, okay, thank you, game. Right, before I go online, let me just check the shop real quick. Okay, see, so here's the other characters that I haven't unlocked yet, so I need to buy these. I think I've got the tickets to get them, so let's see. 40, 80, 120, 160, 200, 240, 280. Yeah, yeah, I have enough to get all of these. There's also, like, different cars. Oh, that's kind of cool. Like a fucking tank. That one's for SIDS. Mecha Chocobo. Mysterious robot. Mecha Chocobo unlocked. You know what? I'll just buy all the characters. Fuck it. Weird how they make you go to the shop to buy some of this stuff after you've, like, unlocked them. And finally, Maduin. Maduin. Ma oh yeah, we still have this stuff. 9,000 coins to buy that, by the way. Buy a fucking car. What's the most expensive item? Is it this one? 30,000? Jesus Christ. Who has the time to, to gather that much money by playing the game? Right, let's go online. I'm just going to stick with Chocobo for the online. Actually, real quick, before I go online, let me just show you something real quick. It's in the options, I think. So if I go into options and play data, 
So I have won a total of 14 times so far in this game online. That's more than I was expecting. Let's see if we can make it 15. So I'm at level 85. I don't know if I'm going to get to level 200. I've still got like just over a month before season 1 finishes. But yeah, let's see if we can jump up a few levels tonight. Get to level 90 maybe. And see if I can get a win. But I'm s surprisingly there's still people playing this game online because it's been a hot minute since I last touched this game. On stream. Let's see if I can, you know, not get my ass kicked. Like if I played the game for a couple hours every day, or something like that, like not, not a couple hours every day, just like an hour a day or something, maybe I'll reach level 200 by the end of it. But again, that's a bit of a commitment to be like, okay, I'm going to play this for one hour every single day, like I don't know if I could stick to that sort of thing. Ah, shite! Oh, I wasted it. Didn't mean to do that. I don't need to come first, just as long as I'm in the top four, and it seems like I'm in a comfortable position right now, so... Should be okay. I mean, it'd be, it would be even better if I came in first, because I'd get more, you know, experience and points and whatnot. Oh, what am I doing? Kind of approached that from a bad angle. I'll take second, that's fine. Don't need to come first, it's not that big a deal. It's only in the final race where coming in first actually matters. Let's see if we can find any funny names among these people while I'm playing online, so... These names seem, you know, normal. Kag, Emily, Teresa... And everyone else is from Japan. So I'll play online for like maybe an hour-ish or so. I won't be doing online for super long tonight because the story mode ran on for a bit longer than I expected, but I'll do maybe roughly an hour of online. Then we can do some Mystical Ninja afterwards, because I want to play some more of that. Also, I love when Discord decides not to behave when I'm trying to do something on it. Nexus Proto. For a second there, I thought that said Nexus Potato.
All right, I'm taking first. Oh, right before I got hit there. Yeah, I don't know if anyone saw that creepy-ass doll that was floating above me there for a second. That means I was about to get hit. Because Sherma's ability is to basically take your projectile and counter it by sending their doll towards you. Which is a really annoying ability if you're on the receiving end of that. Good thing I crossed the finish line before that actually, you know, did the deal. Before it damaged. Alright, semi-finals time. I'm just looking back over at OBS and I'm just seeing that fucking foul face over Elphalyn's body as they're smoking, you know, a blunt. What is my stream sometimes? Quality streams. Sometimes I forget to hold down the accelerator on the number two and not like a moment afterwards. Again, Mario Kart has kind of screwed up my timing. And vice versa with like Mario Kart when I play that. not going to come above 4th now, or f you know, not, not going to come above 5th because of that. Oh no! I bungled it. Bastards. I'm never going to run out of these stickers, am I? Like, these team stickers? So has anybody, uh, I'm, I'm going to ask this now, like I'm probably going to be asking this a few times over the next like week or so, uh, or when, whatever. Oh hey look, we got a gamer girl. I mean I don't give a shit about <laughs> like Brooklyn gamer girls, but you know, it's just kind of funny to see someone go out of the way to name their account that, just so everyone else can see it. It's like, okay. 
you're a gamer girl, so what? Anyways, um, I'm, I'm going to ask this question. Has anyone here seen the Sonic 2 movie yet? Because I think it just started showing in US theatres like yesterday. I seen it like over a week ago because the UK got it a week before the US. Like one of my friends went to see it today and they seemed to have really enjoyed it, so I'm glad that they did. Nice. Perfect race. You haven't seen it yet? You want to go see it with friends? I hope that you do. It's weird to think we're get we've got like a, an, a Sonic movie this year and we're also getting a Mario movie by the holidays. I'm really curious about how that Mario movie is going to be. Like, some people are writing it off because it's made by Illumination, but... I don't know. Something tells me it's actually going to be pretty decent. Like, we've been getting an uptick in quality for video game movie adaptations lately. Like, Detective Pikachu was good, and the two Sonic movies were pretty good, so... I mean, like a lot of people wrote off the Mario and Rabbids crossover, but that was a, a good game, so who knows. I feel like whatever Illumination's got cooking for the Mario movie, it's going to be decent. Like, you know, obvious celebrity voice actors aside, like, it's going to be weird listening to Mario, like, with the voice of Chris Pratt, but I'm just going to, you know, try to see past that, like, and just see if I can enjoy the film for what it is. Honestly, I think it's I think Jack Black is gonna steal the show for it. It's gonna be like pretty much like Jim Carrey for the Sonic movie. Like that'll be he'll be the real star of that movie when we get it. But I think that was the best casting call in my opinion. Just have Jack Black be Bowser. Like you, you couldn't pick anyone better than him really for the role. I'm really curious what they're going to be casting uh, Charles Martinet to do. Because they said he'll just be like a guest voice or something, doing something, but they didn't specify. Oof. Oh, God! Yeah, this ain't looking too good. Really? Really? Yeah, probably not gonna come in... Or, like above fifth on this one. No! Fuck! Guys, let, let me hang on. Let me show you why I was so heated in that moment there. Because I feel like I got robbed there. No, that, that's bullshit. I'm going to show you that clip and I'm going to explain why that annoyed me so much because something happened there that really shouldn't have happened. Right, so let me show you what happened there and why, why it's bullshit. So... 
in this position, I was like, okay, I'm going to use that. I'm going to use my ability so I can, like, overtake the person in fourth place. Now, hang on a second. Let me figure out how to hide this. Right, there we go. So, this person's in fourth place. Obviously, you need to be in fourth or above. So, everybody knows that, right? So, I'm like, okay, I'll use this ability. And I'm not going to cross the finish line before this ability, you know, stops. So, I was trying to use my shield there. Like, you see the shield in the middle? But I had to get rid of the other item first, but because of the animation of the other item, I was unable to use my shield to defend myself. So I got I got royally fucked there. Oh well. Garbage. I know I said I was going to be playing this online for another hour, but maybe I'll cut that down a little bit to about, I don't know, another 30 minutes for now. Like, 30 minutes from now. I, I, I can't speak in English sometimes. Um, I won't be playing this for much longer, is what I'm trying to say. Because if I, if I, if I get moments like this, I'm just going to get a headache from stress. I feel I feel like that's gonna happen if I if I keep that up. Excellent. Good. Okay, right. Um. Have someone called Mummy. Remember when I used to play Super Mario Bros. Thirty Five, and there was like people that had like their names. Like, a lot of them had, like, names that were, like, Mum or Dad or some variant of that Woods. Like, there was a lot of those when I was playing Mario 35. By the way, I fucking miss Mario 35. Nintendo, can we have that again, please? Can you bring that back? Why did you kill off Mario 35, Nintendo? Why did you do that? It was your own game! That was a nice incentive to have your online shitty service and you decide to shoot yourself in the foot by getting rid of it, not even a full year after it came out. Why did you do that, Nintendo? Why? Hashtag bring back Mario 35. Oh. I'm surprised that didn't hit me. Or that wasn't, like, targeting me for some reason. But yeah, I'm, st I'm still, I'm still low-key pissed off that Nintendo, you know, done away with Super Mario Bros. 35. I thought that was like a really good online game. Instead, make way for Tetris 99 or Pac-Man 35 or whatever, and it's like, I really don't like those games because I suck at those. I suck at Tetris. I suck at Pac-Man. I would rather just play Mario 35, but no, we can't have that one for some reason. After like six months of it existing. Like if Nintendo, you know, get a clue and ever decide to bring that game back, I'm going to be really happy. And when I say bring back, I don't mean it's like a limited thing. Like just make it a permanent game. In fact, Nintendo, you know what you can do? Here's a free idea for you, Nintendo. I know you're not listening to this, but I'm just going to pretend that you are. If you want more sales of the expansion pack, make it an incentive for the expansion pack tier. That would get people to buy it, in my opinion. Like, I think that would be something people would be down for. It would suck, but at the same time, if they really want more people to buy into the expansion pack tier of their online service, why not put it on there alongside the N64 games? Because I don't think anyone's subscribing to that service for Genesis games, let's be real. Not when there's like 5 million other ways you can get Genesis games on, on like modern platforms. But yeah, um, may maybe, maybe someday. Oh hey, Gamer Girl was back. Pla Platzi Poo? Good name. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. Almost got hit by that earthquake. Shit! Missed the mole. Was right there. Ooh. Nope. I'll take fourth. How do I unlock um, the the cactus one? Do I have to play extra mode for that one? Oh, so that's a good name. The name now being singlet, but it was like all fucked up letters. time trial. I'm gonna have to look into how to unlock the cactus character. What's the cactus called again? Cactor or something like that? Gulem 64. I'll be playing a Nintendo 64 game very shortly. I've had Nintendo 64 on the mind lately because I recently got an HDMI modded Nintendo 64. So I'll be able to like stream N64 games without having to resort to, you know, like other means that are not that good. Get the most authentic experience but with the best quality image possible. I'll be playing Mystical Ninja and like. 15 minutes or so, I'm not sure when, but soonish. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna use that now, fuck it. Heads up! Why would I. Oh! Yeah, you've got to know exactly where you're gonna stop when you do that. This fucking wacky ass music. Oh, I can't, I can't. This Bahamut's gonna stop at an awkward spot. Damn it. <laughs> I was so close to overtaking them there.
All right, time for the finals. Going to be racing on Interdimensional Rift Alpha. I think I remember the name of that. I probably didn't. I probably got it wrong again. It's a weird name to remember, to be fair. Bunch of big wolves. I mean, it isn't really a bunch of big wolves, it's just one big wolf. Interdimensional. Oh no, I, di I did get the name right. So we got Deb W, we got Alex246, Yasemin, Phoenix, and then me, and then Japanese players. Yasemin? Gotta step it up! It's Sonic the Hedgehog, everyone. Bad, bad place to use that. See, sometimes, sometimes that's just completely out of your control. Where it's like, well, if you, if you don't mash the jump button, you're gonna get fucking knocked on your ass. But if you jump, you're gonna fuck up your turn. So it's like, pick your poison. Really hate that thing. It seems to happen at the most inopportune times. Oh, do your dash, your, your drift. Yeah, nah, I'm not gonna get fussed in this. Look how far ahead they are. GG. See if I can get second for the experience at least. Ah! Oh! Fuckers. I mean, I wasn't gonna come first, but second would have been nice for the extra experience. I feel like I've gotten worse at this game since I last streamed it. Either that, or everybody else has gotten better at it. I mean, it's probably both, to be honest. But yeah, that can happen in the finals, where it's just like... One person will pull out, pull out way in front because everybody else is just hitting each other instead of, instead of like going after the first place person. Like, there is kind of a blue shell, but not a lot of people go for it because you have to know how to get it. Like, the blue shell in this game is the, the fire one, but you have to get it to level 3, and then that one automatically targets first place. I mean, at least I placed. I'll do a couple more GPs, I think.
Oh yeah, here's something weird that I wanted to bring up. Did anyone hear about... Like, you, you all heard about the Will Smith and Chris Rock uh, fiasco where he, like, slapped him on the stage during the Oscars? Yeah, apparently Will Smith has been banned for a decade as a result of that. Which... I mean, I was expecting him to, like, ban him for, like, a year or something, but a decade? That seems a little bit too much, really. Seems a bit of an overreaction, if you ask me. I mean, yeah, I don't condone what Will Smith did. It was stupid what he done on stage, but... Ten years? Really? You're gonna prevent him from going to, like, any academies or awards or anything for, like, ten years? Even five years is, like, reaching. Oh, jeez. Yeah, don't want that. I ain't having what you're selling there, buddy. Oh, fuck. Oh, gods. I mean, I can get a comfortable second place. Good! Absolute waste. I couldn't really do anything about that there. I, I got stuck on the gym for a bit. Yeah, a decade is too much. Like, I like Will Smith, I think he's quite a funny, like, he's, he's, quite, he's quite an endearing, like, actor and whatnot, but I don't idolise him, but I, I still, like, as far as, like, Hollywood actors go, I think he's alright, to be honest, memes aside and whatnot, but I don't condone what he did on stage, like, that was ridiculous, and you, you know what makes it even more ridiculous? Like, when Chris Rock made that joke at the expense of, at the expense of, like, Chris, uh, Will Smith's wife. If you look at the footage, like he was laughing at it, like he was actually, he actually found it funny. But then he saw that his wife was a bit upset about that and he was like, okay, I guess I'm gonna have to go defend my wife and go on stage, slap Chris Rock in the face, and tell him to keep my wife's name out of his fucking mouth. Like, come on, man. You found it funny, don't fucking go back on that. Can't seem to make jokes about anything anymore these days, like, everyone's just too sensitive. Oh yeah, you don't see this track very often. Also, almost everybody is playing as Chocobo in this race. <laughs> Look at all the Chocobo. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, squander it. Like, look at the mini-map. Oops, all chocobo. Anyway, that was an easy win.
I think I'll play until I reach maybe level 90, so not this next level, but the one after that. Alexandria's next. But yeah, ten years is is dumb. Everything about that whole controversy is dumb. Not gonna lie though, even though it was really stupid what Will Smith done, it was probably the most entertaining thing to come out of the Oscars. Because I don't really give a shit about that event otherwise. You know what Will Smith should do? He should... He should go to the Game Awards instead and talk to Jeff Keighley on stage and be like, FUCK THE OSCARS! He should just be like, YO! FUCK THE OSCARS! It's rewind time! Ah, fuck! I screwed that up. Got a healthy lead, though. Yeah, nobody, nobody watches the Oscars, really. Just boomers, I guess. Yeah, I got this race in the bag. Easy win. Let's go. Let's hope the next race is that easy. Don't jinx yourself, Mel. Too late. Alright, level 89. So, again, I'll stop at level 90. Yeah, it, it sucks. Like, the Oscars is supposed to be, like, this pristine... Oh, this... It's like, it's like a pristine event where it's, like... Yeah, we are, we are like, the end-all, be-all, like, opinion of what movies are good. But when they talk about, like, kids' movies, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Like, they'll just, you know, vote in the easiest one that, like, doesn't make any sense. That doesn't have any quality or, like, heart to it. It's like they don't give a shit about animation, really, and that sucks. Just a bunch of old farts that don't know, that don't know what, what qualifies as good animation when it comes to deciding, okay, what, what one should we put in? For, like, best animation. I mean, maybe someday that will change once, you know, the old guard changes, like, once they get new people in behind the scenes, but it might be a long time before we see that happen.
Alright. See how this goes. Good. Of all people that could have hit, I had to be the one to get a hit. Shit. Didn't know where the blue one was going to show up. Ooh, that frame rate. That lovely crispy frame rate there just now. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna catch back up now. I think I made too many mistakes. Which is to say, not any at all, because it was pretty much doomed from the start. The cloud! Yeah. Hey, and I'll take my eighth place then. Up yours. Oh well, I, I knew something like that was going to happen. Like, that, that can happen in this game. I love how I admit all of those people, like, among all of the people there that was in that crowd on that first turn, I was the one to get hit by that, that, that ice spell, and because of that I was pretty much fucked. Got next to zero experience, it might as well be like negative 160. Right, okay, I think I'll do one more GP. That should push me to level 90. I've been hearing rumours that Jim Carrey is going to be retiring. I'm not sure if that's true or not. I mean, he is old. Like, we know that like Jim Carrey is like over 60 years old. So I guess it kind of makes sense that he might be thinking about retirement, finally. But I'm glad that he got to be in the, the two Sonic movies at the very least, because that's like... Again, he stole the show in both films. Oh! Thanks, Cloud. Ooh. Yeah, I'm taking that. I've got an idea. Take a blue. Oof.
couldn't exactly execute my plan there, but I'll take that first. I was going to use that big fireball to fuck up Cloud there, but then that ice spell was about to freeze me, so I was like, nope, I'm gonna use my ability to avoid that. Sadly, I didn't have enough time to do both. Why does the front... I, I, I just noticed this right now. Why does the front of Chocobo's... I mean, you might not see them very well now, but the front of Chocobo's, like, boots, his skating shoes, kind of look like jelly donuts. It's a little bit hard to see now because of this thing blocking it, but... Next race, pay attention to it and you'll see it better. We're doing a uh, big bridge again. Really hope it's not the hyperspeed variant because the hyperspeed one sucks. Like the hyperspeed variant of big bridge is not even on the bridge. It's like on a small like circular track like off the bridge, which makes no sense to me. Okay, good. It's not the hyperspeed one. Even after dodging that, there's nothing I could have done. Oh no! Ah! Fucking squall. Alright, let's go. Ooh, barely, barely got through there. I'll take seconds. Squall almost fucked me up there, though. But yeah, look at the look at the wheels. It really does, like, when he starts, like, rolling them. Yeah, it, look, it kind of looks like jelly donuts, almost. Like race balls. So I keep calling them jelly donuts. It's just force of habit, because I like that meme. Plus, it kind of ties in to me playing this game, which I've been making fun of as a 4 kids show. It works on so many levels. Hey, level 90. So, I'll play until the end of this GP, or until I get eliminated. And then we can move on to the next game.
Oh, by the way, I recently found out about this thing called Remove BG. And it basically, you take images, you put them in this like online like thing. And what it does is that it looks at the image and tries to remove the background for you so you can use the image with like a transparency layer. And it seems to work almost perfectly. Like, here's an example. So here's an old, like, Smash Brothers Brawl mod that I made, like, over a decade ago. I've used this on stream before, this image. So I put it through the online thing that, like, attempts to, like, remove the background, and this is what I got. Um, you can kind of see... It's not exactly perfect, like, a little bit of my headband is missing, and a little bit of the foot is missing. Thankfully, you can edit that afterwards to basically add those back in, so after like just a minute, I get this. So yeah, it works pretty good. I also tested it with uh, this image, another image of me. Also tested it with this one, worked pretty well. And then I tested it with a picture of Sobble from the anime and... Yeah, yeah, kind of got this for some reason. Like, I didn't seem to like the bit on the back of his head. <laughs> so he's just bald in this picture. Also, why is this taking forever to find more players? Don't tell me I'm going to disconnect. I also tried it with this one. Worked pretty well. Oh yeah, here's a funny one. So you know the the... Metroid Fusion, like the cutscene where like Samus is looking at herself after the surgery from the X infestation. Yeah, well it seems like they didn't exactly like the arm cannon because they thought that was part of the background, so they just kinda removed that outright. <laughs> so that that was kinda funny. I don't think this is going to let me advance any further. I think I'm stuck here. Oh. Okay then, well you know what? I'm just going to leave then. Screw you guys, I'm going home. Right, okay then, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Sorry to end that prematurely. I thought I was like stuck in a, a connection loop issue. Which you know that's happened before. What about Kirby with Sora's hair? You know what? I could try that right now. Hang on. Let me look for an image of Kirby with Sora's hair, and I'll try putting that in the AI like thing. Wait, are you talking about the the edit I did months ago? Uh, do I still have that? Let me see if I still have that image handy. Uh, give me one second. I still have the image, but I have to like export it as an image that I can put into this website. Okay, so this shouldn't take me more than a minute, but let me just show you what I'm going to put through the... So yeah, here's an image. This was an edit that I did a while back. Just me, but with Sora's hair. Because it kind of looks like Mel's hair a little bit. So I'm going to go to... Let's see, remove.bg is the name of the website. I'm going to put this image through there and we'll see what happens. It almost got it right. Let me show you what I got. Right, so check, check this out, it almost got it right, like it missed the little bit down there. Other than that, it's nearly perfect. But I can edit that later, like that's not difficult to get rid of that bit. Not bad. 
Right, okay then, right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move on and do some Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. I'll maybe do some more of this at some point. I'm not gonna be doing much Chocobo GP, especially when Mario Kart 8 is getting more content, but every now and again maybe I'll hop in and see if I can get a couple wins here and there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I may or may not return to this at some point when I feel like coming back to this. So yeah.